Hello, hello. How are you? Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you today? Nice to see you. Vamos a ver. Está. Ok, Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Great. Analicia. Analicia. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Diego Batres. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Edwin Mauricio, right? Okay. Elmer Alexis. Elmer Alexis, no here. Grace Mitchell, Grace Mitchell, Jonathan David, present teacher, Karen Janet, Karen, 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 Karen Janet, no here yet, Karen Stephanie, Karen Stephanie, Carla Lorena, present teacher, okay, Kevin René, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Teacher, Kevin is, is, is in el trabajo. Creo que no se va a poder unir este día. Oh. Eh, creo que él le va a informar en su momento, eh, pero sí, ahorita está en Guatemala, en una ventana, por eso no, no va a estar con nosotros. Ok, ok, ok. Luis Edgardo. Present, teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Eh, Noé Ortiz. Noé, Noé. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Mario Ángel. Luz Angélica. Joana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Voy para mi casa. Ok. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Nice. Ok. Luz Angélica. Mario Ángel, Noé, Kevin, Karen Stephanie, Karen Janet, Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Present quién? Karen Janet. Ah, ok. Y la cámara. Espérenme, dice que vengo llegando. <laughs> ya me pone <laughs> Okay, vamos. Grace Mitchell. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Who? Mario. Mario Ángel Cáceres. Okay. Rodas. Mario Ángel. Ahí está. Eh, Grace Mitchell. Elmer. Diego. Present teacher. Present, ¿quién? Abranme cámara, porque si solo me dicen present, no veo quién me está hablando. Hi, I'm Diego. I'm here. Ok, Diego, Diego, muy bien. 
Eh, Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Prefe. No la Miki. No, voy manejando. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Y Ana. Ana Alicia. Hoy sí ya la vi. Ana. No ya. Ana yet. Bye. Ahí está. En la segunda ronda atrapamos los temas. How are you? Woo, Friday. <laughs> ready, ready for Friday? Yes. Yes, ready. Good. Yes, teacher. Eso significa tener la plataforma completa. Ay, la teacher. Nos arruinó el Friday, ¿verdad? <laughs> no, fíjense que yo... Estuve revisando plataforma ayer y qué susto, todavía hay gente que tiene cero. Fíjense, pues por eso es que molesto yo. Los que ya completaron, pues no se den por enterados, ¿verdad? Pero sí, hay gente y ya me voy a meter a la plataforma a verla otra vez para ver qué, qué han hecho. Porque sí, me metí a ver ayer y hay gente que está en cero, en cero, en cero. Y ayer ya era jueves, ¿verdad? Ups. Vamos a ver. A ver, a ver. Carta, pues. Y ahorita vamos a ver cómo estamos, si se me pusieron al día en el transcurso del día, si están todavía endeudados conmigo, cómo está. Adriana, solo me debe hoy. Alexis, ah, una cosa. Respecto a los que se han puesto... Mm, así como un you, fíjense que ese no es un username, ahí tienen que ponerse o sea no es un nombre corto y abreviado, ahí tienen que ponerse en la plataforma su nombre completo tal cual se registraron en inglés corporativo porque es una plataforma formal, es de donde yo recojo las notas para mm. llevarlas a la lista y si allí hay este nombre mero cortitos que no me los identifican a veces como quienes son me van a complicar mucho la vida ok así es que porfa métanse yo pregunté, yo pregunté ayer me dijeron que allí son ustedes los que se han puesto ese nombre y que son ustedes los que pueden cambiar verdad así es que eh, Arreglen, por favor, el nombre. Sí, es que hay, hay también, teacher, creo que el, el sistema le, le pone un nombre por default. Yo creo que eso es lo que, los nombres que ve usted en este momento, quizás. Este, Mario, fíjese que ¿Sí? no, Mario, hubo gente que se puso, vamos a ver, Mario, ¿cómo me parece? Es que a mí me parecía mi nombre, pero así como codificado. No lo he cambiado, pero... No, usted me aparece como Mario, Mario Ángel Cáceres 1. Ah, ok. Estoy Mario, no sé cuántos Marios Ángeles hay, pero sí, me aparece muy bien. Ah, ok. Vamos a ver, este... Sí, si yo cuando yo me uní, yo aparezco con mi nombre completo, solo que pegadito, ¿verdad? Pero sí, tengo. A eso gente. me refería, que sale como unido, pero entonces así lo dejamos. Sí, no, así no hay ah, problema. Okay. Ahí no hay problema. Perdón. Pero este, fíjense que tengo, vaya, por ejemplo, ay, regresa. Alexis está aquí. <coughs> Alexis, eh, Carolina. Claudia Carolina, Carolina me dijeron que usted lo puede cambiar. Oye, ahí dense una revisadita para ver dónde, dónde pueden ustedes cambiar el nombre. 
Diego también, póngase el nombre completo. Oye, póngase el nombre completo para poder... Acá en Zoom. Eh, no. Bueno, sí, en Zoom también, ¿verdad? Siempre es que, que solo ustedes... tengo un nombre. <risa> solo se llama. No, no, Diego, en la plataforma. Ah, ok. En la plataforma donde van completando lo, el trabajo. Es okay. que me aparece como Diego va a tres, pero póngase Diego va a tres. Ok. <risa> ¿Verdad? Y Listo. así en, en aburrido, póngame el nombre. En la, en, okay. la pla, en la plataforma de aprendizaje. Que póngase okay. Diego va a tres losa, ¿verdad? Su nombre completo. Listo. Vamos a ver, voy a refrescar para ver si ya me aparece. Todavía no me le aparece completo, pero vamos a ver. En la, en la plataforma, Diego hizo el cambio. La plataforma de aprendizaje donde van cumpliendo las tareas de cada día. Ok, ahorita lo realizo el cambio. Ya reviso. Vaya. Este, quiero ver, muy bien. Había más ahí, ya los veo con sus nombres completos. Solamente, ah, Adriana. Póngase Adriana. Y quiero ver cuál es, es okay. su nombre completo, porfa. Porque así a mí se me hace más fácil poder recoger eh, las notas y así cuando ustedes tienen su nombre tal cual me caen hasta en el orden en, en el mismo orden en que va la lista pero cuando tienen abreviado me van a caer en un orden diferente al de la lista y ahí me, me complica mi poquito oye ok teacher hay que pónganse los nombrecitos completos así tal cual aparecen registrados en inglés corporativo. Así tienen que ir siempre sus nombres, ya sea en la plataforma, en Zoom, eh, en cualquier cosa que realicen dentro de clase eh, o dentro de la plataforma de aprendizaje, siempre su nombre tiene que ir completo. Oye, bacha, hoy sí. Luego del comercial, esperen, me voy a poner el, el ventilador que yo me cocino acá. Ya habíamos olvidado que marzo es un mes bastante cálido. No me imagino cómo está en Sonsonate. ¿Verdad? Sonsonate tiene fama de ser un poquito más calientito que San Salvador. Vaya. No se oh. imagina cómo está en San Miguel. Ay, verdad, mire, si yo sudando estoy. <risa> Tal parece que uno no se bañara. <risa> Porque sí, en serio, está súper, súper. Pero ya el, el ventilador espero que me ayude. Lo tiro a que pegue allá y me rebote. Vaya, vamos a ver. Let's begin. Vamos a hacer un repasito de ayer. Oye, eh, antes que todo. Yesterday, we were talking about the use of should, should and shouldn't. Y hoy, pues, para aprovechar, ¿verdad? Que vamos al repasito. Vamos a hablar también de questions, ¿verdad? How you use it in the questions. Vamos. Ok. Check. We said yesterday 
that we use should and shouldn't to give advice or to talk about something that we think is right or wrong. We also mentioned that we use should to say that we think something is a good idea or shouldn't to say that we think something is a bad idea, right? And we use it also to express our opinion when we give a suggestion or when we give an, a piece of advice. We don't say an advice because advice is not a countable. I cannot say an because it's not countable, right? It's uncountable. So you say a piece of advice. So when I give a piece of advice or I express an opinion, I you should, right? But when I use should to express my opinion, I can you think or I don't think. I don't think you should go. I don't think you should go alone. I think you should learn a new language, right? Or I don't think you should learn Portuguese instead of English. I don't think so, right? So we use that to express opinion or suggestion, check. When we use the model, I want to, cut, uh, to call your attention to this, check. Should is a modal verb. Remember last, uh, last course we were talking about may, might, can, most, right? Those were the, the, the modal verbs that we were using last course. And same as we mentioned in the previous course, when we use a modal, right? This is a modal verb. When we use a modal verb, we have to follow a couple of rules, right? So modal verbs do not take endings like S, no S, no ED, no ING, no, right? So never, you cannot say should or should it, uh -uh. because they are no verbs, they are modal verbs, yes? So you don't, don't say, ah, but I'm going to talk about the past. Mm -mm -mm. No problem, you, you should or shouldn't. Never add S to a modal verb. Okay, another thing, modal verbs are followed by the base form of the verb. Remember, you should do, you should do the homework on time. You should do the platform. You should complete the platform by Friday. Yeah? You should connect every day to class. So I use the should, I use the model, right? In this case, we're talking about a should, but that happens with every model. So you use should or you use the model and the base form of the verb. You should be, you should be early at home, right? You should be, you don't say you should is or you should are, uh -uh, tampoco, right? We use should, plus the base form of the verb. You should study hard. You should relax a little bit. You should go to bed early, right? So should and the verb in the base form. Modal verbs also make questions by investing. Remember uh, when you are using a modal verb, you do not use the auxiliary, do. Do, did, uh, um, do not exist. We use should, yes? So what do we do is that we, we switch. So you say, should you go out at night? Should I learn another language? Should I take some medicine? Should I drink more coffee? So that's if I want to ask a question. And that's in that case, what you're doing is asking somebody to give you a piece of advice or a suggestion. 
Yes. Any question here? Questions? Questions? Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, I don't understand complete uh, modal verbs. Uh -huh. They make questions. But I'm going to show you. A, well, I'm going to write this sentence. You should or you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Later on, we will see more examples, okay? You shouldn't go out at night. I tell you, mm -mm, Karen, you shouldn't go out at night. Yes. Okay, so I'm giving you a, a piece of advice or a recommendation in negative. Karen, you shouldn't go out at night. And then you, and I tell you, should you go out at night alone? What I do in that case, I do not use negative for questions, okay? I use only should. And what I do is that I switch. And I say, should you? Should you go out at night alone? And you say, no, I shouldn't, right? Oh, okay. Should you eat after 10 p.m.? <laughs> no. I, uh, remember that we said, we use should to say that something is okay that I do, right? Should you eat after 10 p.m.? No, I shouldn't eat after 10 p.m., right? I should eat before nine, but no after 10. Okay, so I say, should you? And the question mark at the end. Yes. I don't know if that answered your questions. If no, anyway, uh, we are going to see more examples later. Is that okay, Karen? Um, yes, okay, teacher. Thank you. Perfect. Now check. Should is mostly commonly used for making suggestions and recommendations. Um, you can use it also to talk about obligation, but that's not the case. We're not going to talk about that here because I don't want to confuse you more, right? So we are going to use should for giving advice, for making suggestions, and for making recommendations. If I, I recommend something, you decide if you do it or not, right? It's your decision. For example, when you go to the doctor, the doctor cannot oblige you to do something. He gives you recommendations. And then you decide if you follow the doctor's recommendations or if you don't follow the doctor's recommendations, right? So check, examples. You should try the new Vietnamese restaurant. That's a recommendation, right? Um, you should try the new Vietnamese restaurant. We should leave now so we don't miss the bus. You shouldn't wash white clothes with brightly colored clothes. Ooh, what will happen to the white clothes? The city should fix these portals or these holes, right? Potholes. Check, more examples. When we ask, these are affirmative or negative, right? As we were talking about that yesterday. You can also use it for making questions. And what we say is we only invert, yeah, we do this. We invert, should, it's like when you make a question with the verb to be, right, that, that switch. So you say, should we bring anything to the party? Should I sign up for a gym membership? When should I submit my assignment? Where should we go for our next vacation? You're asking somebody to give you a suggestion or to give you a recommendation. 
Is that clear for you? Remember, in affirmative and negative, you are giving a suggestion, you're making a recommendation, right? But in a question, you are asking other people to give you a recommendation, yes? Or to give you a suggestion. Okay. Yes, yes. Question? No questions. No teacher. Uh huh. No. Okay. Bacha pues. That was just the review of yesterday's class. Now we go to the topic for today. Remember today we finish unit number five and we go to check like the last part reviewing some vocabulary and some structure, right? Today uh, we have a conversation about inventory, inventory. So let's read the conversation and then you will go to practice the conversation. We were very busy yesterday. Repeat. We were very busy yesterday. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We, we had, had a lot, lot of, of customers. customers. We did. I we think did. we need to stock our inventory. I we think, think we need, to, think stock we need to stock our inventory. I think we need to stock our inventory. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. Yes, yes. We, we don't have, have enough, enough quantity, quantity of chocolate, 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 chocolate caramel. caramel. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. Yes, yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. We don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. We don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What, what, what was our inventory turnover for, for chocolate, chocolate caramel. caramel? What was our invention turnover for chocolate caramel? What, what, what was our inventory turnover, turnover for, for chocolate, chocolate caramel? For, for chocolate. For chocolate caramel. For chocolate caramel. For chocolate caramel. What about the cost? What about the cost? What about the cost? Right now, it's three and the cost is ten dollars per unit. Right now, it's three for this year, and the cost is thirty dollars per unit. Per unit, per unit, unit. That's great. That's great. That's great. Okay, one That's more time. Great. We were very busy yesterday. We, had we a were lot very of... busy yesterday. yesterday. We were very busy yesterday. We were very, we were busy, very busy, busy, busy yesterday. We were very busy yesterday. We were, we were very, very busy, busy, busy yesterday. yesterday. We had we had a lot had... of customers. We, we had, had, a had a lot, lot of customers. customers. We had a lot of customers. We, we had a lot, a lot of, customers. of customers. We did. We did. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. I, I think, think we, we need, need to stock, stock our, our inventory. inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. Yes, yes we, we don't have, have enough, enough quantity of chocolate, of chocolate caramel. Chocolate caramel. What was our inventory for over for chocolate caramel? What was our inventory for chocolate caramel? 
What about the cost? What about, what about the, cost? the cost? What about the cost? What about, what about, about the, cost? the cost? Right now, it's three for this year. <coughs> right now, right now, right now, three now, for right this now year. it's three for this year. And the cost is $30 per unit. And the cost is $30 per unit. And the cost and the cost is thirty dollars per unit. And the cost is thirty dollars per, per unit. Okay, checking vocabulary. What is the stock? In inventory. Mm -hmm. Is the quantity the quantity of a uh, product? Uh huh. Is the quantity of product that you have available, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That is for use or for sale. What is turnover? What is turnover? Retorno. It says um, inventory turnover. Inventory. What does it mean, turnover? Rotation. Oh. Like, uh, Yes. It's rotation. Rotation. Uh -huh. Okay, that's the amount of business that a company does in a period of time. As you say, the rotation, right? Okay, very good. Any other question? No. Any other question about vocabulary? No? No. Okay. What about pronunciation? I lost my pen. Oh. Pronunciation? Uh -huh. No. Enough. 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 Okay. Enough. Any other? Um, inventory. 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 Okay. Thank you. Chocolate, right? Chocolate. Chocolate caramel. Chocolate. No more. No, no more. Okay. Well, I'm going to send you in groups. You're going to practice the conversation for a while, and then. I'm going to listen to some of you. You're 20. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to make nine groups. Huh. Vaya. Noé, ahí se pone el nombre completo. Oye. Um, todo el mundo está aquí. Solo Kevin está de oyente, ¿verdad? Ahorita. Yes. Yes. Vaya, porque si no los hago a grupo de tres a los que no están para que no me quede solito alguien ahí tratando de practicar. Yo estoy oyente también por el momento. ¿Quién? Claudia, Carolina. ¿Va a manejar? Sí, Claudia, Clau. sí. Okay. Teacher, yo también. ¿Quién yo también? Alfredo, voy manejando. Ah, ok, ok. Vale. Es que, ajá, es que así ustedes no pueden estar leyendo, Dios guarde. Van manejando, no puede ponerse a leer. Y mucho menos le voy a decir, párese por ahí para leer, porque es peligroso. Pero sí... Eh, Pueden escuchar mientras los demás, mientras los demás leen. Vamos a ver, vamos a mandar aquí. Bueno. 
Vaya, voy a tener entonces este, un par de grupos de tres. Oye, por los que no pueden allí, que van manejando ahorita, para que escuchen a los demás practicar la conversación. Y ya, al poder, pues se unen, ¿verdad? Bye. We will go practice the conversation, change roles. First, for example, one is uh, John and the other is Ben. Then the one who was Ben will become John and so on. And then you, you go to the questions, okay? Then you go and answer the questions. Well, the, here, let me see. Where, okay. What you're going to what do? Page, teacher? The, the vocabulary. What page? Uh, let me see. It's page 19. We are on page 19. No. No, 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 no. 17, teacher. Sí, es que yo ya ando adelantada preparando la de mañana. <laughs> la de mañana. Seven. La de mañana. Bye. So let's go first to the conversation, okay? Let's go first to the conversation, practice the conversation, and then I will call you back to present, to practice and to role play. And after that, we will go to the exercise, okay? To the vocabulary. But first, let's practice the conversation. I will be moving you. Uh, today, I'm going to be the rotation without taking you to, uh, when you feel you will be with another person, okay? So you can okay. practice the conversation more than once. But first time, practice the conversation. One is, uh, what is the name of the John. guy? One is John, the other is Ben. Then you change the one who was John will be Ben and the one who was Ben will be John. I will give you about four minutes and then I will start rotating you and I'm going to take you from one room and send you to another one. Okay? Okay. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Everybody on page... 17. Yes. Page 17. Allá vamos. Go. Try to join. Hola. Hola. Ay, Carla. Hola. No se logró ¿Sacó? unir, Carla. Es que me sacó la compu. Ah, vaya, ya la voy a ver. Espérenme, quiero ver dónde. Ah, ya la vi. La voy a mover a otra aula para que logre unirse. Oye, Carla. Ya, está bien. Aquí está, ya la vi dónde está. Vamos a mandarla al 5. Bueno, gracias. Ok, qué bien. Carlita está conectada dos veces. Teacher, please. Teacher, <laughs> <Chair>, please. <laughs> yes, I only see you call me and I say like, chair, teacher, chair. Ok. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ok, ready, ready. Es que si no, Luis apaga la cámara y así no me gusta. Es cierto, bien. yo sé, yo sé. Me desaparezco. Es cierto, es muy cierto. Sí. Hi, hi. You start o I'm start? I am start. Oh, you start. Ok. Es que no podemos We were... compartir, teacher. Por eso, lo hablamos. Mm. Just yes, no. yes, okay. okay. Uh, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turner for chocolate caramel? Esa también le toca a usted. What about the cost? Ah, sí. What about the cost? Right now is three for this year, and the cost is 30 per unit. Thanks, right. Okay. okay. You start? Y you start. Ah, yes, verdad? Yeah. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right, right now it's uh, three for this year and the cost is uh, 30 per unit. That's great. Excellent. Mm -hmm. You do start again? Yes, yes, yes. I'm start now. Uh, we were very busy, very busy yesterday. We had a particular amount. No of se me vayan anything. al vocabulario todavía. Practice. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Queríamos avanzar. <laughs> okay. Sigamos entonces. Okay. Pronunciation. Um. Okay, okay, I start. <laughs> we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. Hey, se nos desapareció. ¿Por qué, teacher? <laughs> ¿Quién me va a compartir cámara ahorita? <laughs> <laughs> Ay, what room is this, number two? Vaya, aquí viene Edwin. Ok. Hello, hello, don Edwin. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Bien. ¿Puede compartir su, su, su pantalla? Quiero ver. Sí, o no. Creo, déjeme ver. Vaya. Bueno. Si no, intento yo. <risa> Mire que estaba en otro grupo y me sacaron. Sí, la teacher fue. Sí. Dice que yo, yo no practico. Yo fui, yo les dije, yo les dije que los iba a andar tanto. Ajá. A, a, mi, a mi defensa. Ajá. Los voy a mover. Sí. Déjenme ver si puedo proyectar. Ok. Es que esta máquina es la de mi hija, porque la, la del trabajo es la que yo ocupo. Ah. Está dando mantenimiento. Ajá. Que está es mucho más lenta. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ahorita está cargando. Está ya llegué a la página. Vamos a ver si compartimos. ¿Se ve? Sí. Sí, sí se ve. Vale. Ok. Empezamos ahí, practicamos. Empiezo yo. ¿Está bien? Vale. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did, uh, I think we need some our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for the chocolate caramel? 
what about the cost? Right now it's three for this year and the cost is $30 per minute for unit. That's great. Okay, for you al revés. Okay. And you know, uh, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think that we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. Stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turned over for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now, it is three for this year and the cost is a 30 per unit. That's great. Okay, you start? Yes, empiezo yo. Yes. We were very, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customer. We did, I think. Uh, we need to stop our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What's our, what, what was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now it's three for this year and the cost is $30 per unit. Thanks, great. Una vez más. Yes, one more time. Yeah, empieza usted. Yo, okay. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stop our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for the chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now, it is a three for this year, and the cost is a 30 per unit. That's great. Excellent. Good job. Again? Thank you. Yes. And you start? Yes. Yes. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We need, I think we need to stop our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now it's three for this year and the cost is $50 per unit. Thanks, right. Yes. Let's do. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stop our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now it's three for this year and the cost is $30 per unit. Thanks, right. Is your only time? practice or oh. the question answer? No, right now only practice. I'm moving you to practice with different partners. Okay. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, changing partners. He estado con mucho. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know, I have been moving you today. Vaya, con Noé ya estuve, Noé. Ahí había practicado con Noé, ah, pues se lo quito, pero. Yes, yes. <laughs> ya le traigo a alguien más. Ahí viene Edwin, creo. Edwin, ya estuve con Edwin también. Ay, no le creo. 
pero no importa, teacher. Puedes tener en el grupo que habla con el que es tú. Qué bueno. Vaya, entonces leemos de nuevo, Edwin. One minute and then I take you out. Está bien, teacher. Este, we were very busy yesterday. We had a, we had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have a enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? Okay. I will need volunteers to read the conversation. Just a couple. Me, Joanna, and who will be my other volunteer? Joanna and Carla. Adrian. And Adriana or Carla? Carla. Carla. Okay, go ahead. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stop our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now it's three for this year and the cost is $30 per unit. That's great. Excellent. I need two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Adriana Me. and Luz Angelica, right? Y después. Yes, okay. I'm gonna start. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now, it's three for this year, and the cost is thirty dollars per unit. That's great. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you very much. My last volunteers. Me, teacher. Who sent me teacher? Karen. Karen Stephanie and Karen. And 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 me teacher. Okay, so yes. No, niños, ¿Empiezo? Yes. Right. <laughs> okay. ¿Con quién voy? Con Karen. Karen and Rosy. Okay. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now it's three for this year and the cost is $30 per unit. That's great. Excellent. Do you know what? I'm going to tell you something. If you notice this unit, you have had a lot of conversations more than in the other four courses, right? In the other four courses, we didn't have a conversation every single day. And here we do. And what I have seen after five days of talking and practicing the conversation, I feel you more fluent and more secure. If you don't believe me, go watch the class on Monday and then come and watch the class today. And you will see the difference. You sound more secure today. Yeah, and that's great. That's great. That's why today I had, I had you like going, coming, going, coming, going, coming for you to have the chance to practice with different people. Yeah, and to get more uh, to feel more secure, right? When talking. 
Well, I'm going to call attendance right now before we go to the vocabulary exercises. Let's see. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Nice. Analicia. Diana. No, y ahora no. ¿No? Siempre le dice, pero hoy no ha dicho nada ni en el chat. No, ¿verdad? Uh -uh. Solo Mauricio me dijo teacher, student. Ah. Sí. <risa> <risa> bueno, yo es que quería que compartiéramos, pero no, no se podía. Ah. <risa> me regañaron que me desaparecí, entonces tuve que volver, ya no pude escribir más. Sí. <risa> ya vi que. Ya apareció. Ajá, uh -huh, because it's very strange that, uh, that, she's, that she's absent. Va. Eh, Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Present. Present. Diego Batres. Present teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elmer. Elmer Alexis es tercer día que no lo veo. Se nos ha perdido. But some of you do not appear with name here, so I don't know who you are. Karen, Rosy, Abby, Rosy, Noé, Ana, Ana, Joanita, Mauricio. No, he's not in the. Ah, aquí está. Ay, ¿dónde está la T? <ríe> uh -huh. Three, three days. Bacha. Eh, Grace Michelle. Grace Michelle, Jonathan David, Jonathan, Jonathan David, Jonathan estaba aquí, ¿verdad? Can you hear me? Me oyen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Que de repente aquí me apareció configurar audio profesionales. Porque un día de esto de repente el, el micrófono dijo, tú no tienes tu micrófono bueno. Y tuve que cambiar de audífonos. Lo bueno es que tengo dos pares por cualquier emergencia. Y de repente saber qué le pasó. Vaya, Karen, Janet, Karen, Karen, Present teacher. Yes. Karen, Stephanie, Present teacher, Carla Lorena, Present teacher, Kevin René, Present, nice, Luis Ergarto, Present teacher, Luis Mauricio, Present teacher, Noé, Present. No. Present teacher. Ok. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Present teacher. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana Ruth. Present teacher. 
José Alfredo. José Alfredo. José Alfredo, no. Marina Vanessa. Presente. David. Presente, teacher. Ok, perfect. Ahí está. <clears throat> Ana no here, ¿verdad? Tengo three absent. Ustedes son 23. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Very good, very good. Ok, José Alfredo, ya lo vi. <laughs> Hoy sí, ya lo vi. <clears throat> Excellent. Vaya. Let's go back. I'm going to share. I'm going to. I'm going to share the manual this time. Not the. Not the book. But the man, Not the presentation. But the manual. We are going to work in this exercise. Check. You're going to match the definitions with the words here. Yeah. So you have cost. Inventory, turnover, inventory, turnover, right? Stock, quantity, and inventory. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to do it. Oh, and then we check. Teacher, um, number three is cost number three <clears throat> teacher what is among aha basha so number three is cost let's see <coughs> Okay, um, I think number one is stuck. Number one is stuck. Ay, espérenme, aquí está cosa. Eh, escribe, si no, ¿cuál es el chiste que me ve? Ahora tiene vida propia. <ríe> sí, de plano. Pues, pues sí, va a creer que el chiste tiene que me venga al manual y no a la presentación, porque allá puro lápiz escribo y aquí puedo escribir Bien. así. Ya. Vaya. So you say a particular amount of anything is? Quantity. I think that is quantity. I'm going to change the letter. Yes, teacher, it's quantity. Okay, quantity. A complete listing, a complete listing of merchandise or stock on hand. Inventory. Yeah. The price paid to get something. Cost. Yes, cost. Number four. The number of times a company sells its store, its inventory a year. Inventory turnover. Inventory, inventory turnover. And number five. Oh, it's stuck. 20. To get more product in the inventory, stock. Stock. Okay. Ay, that was very easy. You did it in five minutes. No more. <laughs> six. In five or six minutes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Basha. 
Let's talk now about descriptions of products. Check what you're going to do here. What you're going to do is read the description of the chocolate products and then complete the chart, this chart with the products. You have the name of the chart or the name of the product, the code of the product, the size, the ingredients, the weight, the price per unit. Okay. But okay. for that, yeah. you need to read this information carefully. And of course, you're not going to do that alone. I'm going to take you, I'm going to send you so you work together, okay? At the end, when you finish, you have to, do, to add two extra examples that you will have to create, okay? Because we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you one add, mm -hmm. you <laughs> add one fee. Invent a product, right? First, of course, uh, you do this uh, and complete the chart. And then you invent a product. Okay. And add it in another chart. O aquí a un ladito del su chart que tienen acá. Okay. It can be something related to chocolate. It can be a cookie. It can be whatever you want, right? You're free to invent and to create in your group. But remember, first go over that information, complete the chart with that information. And after you have finished, luckily con el mismo, si no con otro compañero, because I'm going to be moving you again, you will write the last part where you have to invent a product. Me van a escribir el parrafito así y después a completar el cuadrito acá. About an invented product. But that will be later. I don't know if the instructions are clear. Yes. Go through the descriptions and complete the chart. Okay. Cuando completaron el chart con esto, tienen tiempo y no los he jalado, empiezan a inventarse un producto y a completarme el chart con ese producto. Ok. But for that, you have to create all the same information here. Any question? No question, teacher. No question. No questions. Hola, hola. No, teacher, no question. No, nobody. Vaya, pues. Luis, no, dice que no, así es que no, ¿verdad? <ríe> pues, sí, no porque, entendí, pero bueno. pues sí, porque solo Luis me dice no questions. Vaya, allá vámonos entonces. I'm going to send you in groups now. Let's see. 20. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you, okay. Cuatro mucho, ¿verdad? It's okay. Sí, muchos. <laughs> de tres. ¿Verdad? Sí, de tres, que cuatro es demasiado. Bye. De hecho, okay. go. Solo me quedan, ay, me quedan dos de cuatro, ¿sí? Vaya. A ver. Todos están ya aquí o alguien todavía anda manejando. Ma no, ella llegó, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Ah, va, muy bien. Va, allá vamos. Ready, ready, go.
Teacher, no me aparece a mí el... Se me desapareció el... el la invitación. Ajá. Vamos a ver. Vaya, lo voy a mover. Cheque si le aparece okay. hoy. Hoy sí ya, ahorita acaba de salir. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Perfecto, bueno. Consulta con lo del teacher. código. Ah, exacto. <risa> ¿Qué le ponemos en código? We teacher. have to, to, to create a code or I don't know. Teacher, mm -hmm. we have to create a code or I don't know, I, I, we don't have clear. What about? Vamos a ver si nos da un code. Our spicy peanut toffee is made with butter toffee roasted peanuts and cayenne chili pepper. Spicy peanut toffee is the perfect combination of sweet, salt, spicy, and crunchy. Fíjese que sí, quizá ustedes tienen que crear el código, porque no se lo da. El código. Ok. Ok. Porque ninguno tiene código, ¿verdad? No. And I have a, another question. Eh, eh, the, in some of the boxes eh, that describes the product, eh, mention that the boxes came with six pieces, but in another doesn't explain what kind, what, qué cantidad, what, what quantity, what, uh -huh, what quantity uh, brings the box. So, can we assume? Assume. Assume uh, that the, for example, in the spicy peanut toffee have only one or have six in the box? Because it doesn't mention. It doesn't quantity. Uh-huh, exactly. The total candy says the chocolate covered caramel too, but the deep nougat doesn't say it there. No. Mm -hmm. No, if it doesn't say, just put a hyphen. Okay. Okay, okay it's okay. So we have to invent code. I don't know. Any idea? Can be the, the initials and, yeah. the, and a number. <laughs> yeah, it will be. Right. It will be S P T zero. One. I don't know. Uh, yeah, why not? Okay. Okay. T0 one. And they share the, the screen. The... Mm -hmm. Hi, hi, Jonathan is aquí. Oh, uh, uh, Jonathan. Yes. Jonathan. Yes. Jonathan. No He's here. Jonathan. No Jonathan, are no, you in no. the meeting too? No lo eh, veo. Ahorita soy, 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 soy un meeting de ahorita ayudando a Kevin. Que, eh, somos compañeros de trabajo, por eso. Oh. Ok. Vale, okay. voy a traer a alguien entonces más para que les ayude. Ok, ok. Thank you. Hi, hi, Luz. Sorry que me la traje. <laughs> okay, teacher. But remember, okay. you have Hello. to read the information and complete the chart. Okay. In the case okay. of the code, it doesn't have a code. So you can invent one. Uh, we, we use the first letter to the name. Uh huh. Sp exactly. SPT, for mm -hmm. example. SPT. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure. We choose the one product or no, all the No, the old products, we need to uh, fill this chart. Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay, well, la, 
the name name is, is spicy peanut toffee. Yes. Yes. Okay, code one, maybe. Code one. Uh -huh, one. 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 A size. Size box with six units, so like uh, dimensions, uh, like a uh, 16 per a uh, 10 per 7 inch. Oh. It's like the dimensions. Okay, okay. Dimensions to the box. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And Ingredients. So, um, and, it's a uh, butter toffee. Butter toffee, roasted peanuts. And cayenne chili pepper. Cayenne chili pepper. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wait. Uh, it doesn't exist in this chart, but the wait. Wait. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, like a uh, twenty-five grams. Uh, one one pound. Pound is. Oh, one pound. Uh -huh. one, one pound. or four. One, one pound. pound. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, price per per unit. Per unit. One dollar per unit. Uh, I have a question here because say per price per unit. That is a box with six, six units. Six units. So is that uh, uh, price for the unit. box or uh, a price for the unit? Price for the unit, uh, for example, the chocolate? Yeah, well, uh, I think One dollar per chocolate. No, uh, no, like uh, here I have a, a price, seven seven dollars fifty cents. Seven dollar fifty cents. Them. Uh huh. Yeah. Give me one second. Okay. Okay. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Wow. Well, whatever. <laughs> okay. The next product is turtle candies. Okay. Turtle candies. Name turtle candies. Code two. Yeah. Box. Um, this box size five, started with five. six pieces. Rich butter, caramel, fresh roasted. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Tell me. En el segundo producto dice box sizes starting with six pieces. Mm -hmm. Y en la tabla pide size box with six units. Um, ¿A qué se refiere con eso de box sizes starting with six pieces? Box si uh, size, box with six units. O sea que como las six pack que ustedes compran de, de Pepsi o de Coca-Cola, que ya uh, viene así, eh, si usted dice six pack, el size es six units. Mm -hmm. okay. Entonces aquí la cajita de chocolates trae exactamente seis chocolatitos. That's the size. ¿Y cómo debería reflejarlo en la tabla? En la tabla. Uh -huh. Six pieces for unit. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Porque por ejemplo la primera no dice. No. no. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say that those specifications, but the second, yes, it says boxes, si box sizes starting with six pieces. That means that there can be more. And the other probably can start with one. It depends on how many the people want, right? In chocolate covered caramels, this is lo mismo. Box sizes uh -huh. starting with six pieces. Starting with. With. Starting. So, empe empezando con six pieces. Okay. Yeah. So, that means that they can have uh, boxes with six, with 12, with 18, or with 24. Porque dice starting with. Se empiezan con okay. cajas de seis. Van subiendo. Uh -huh. 
¿verdad? Pueden Sería haber. Sería seis por unidad. Eh, Ajá, exacto. Ok. Bueno, en el caso del primero lo dejamos así vacío porque no la tiene rayita, nada. La rayita, póngale sí porque no, no, no da especificación. Ok. Uh -huh. y, en el peso que no lo menciona, en el uno y en el dos, de weight, también lo dejamos así con rayita. Weight. Weight. Sí. It doesn't tell you the weight. No, the size. Ah, the weight. No lo menciona. No, no, ninguno dice el güey. No. Uh -uh. El código se lo pueden inventar, ¿verdad? Sí. The beginnings. Ajá, uh -huh, but the way it doesn't say the way. Ninguno lo dice. No, ninguno. Ajá. Uh -uh. No, they don't say. Con las rayitas, rayita, rayita, rayita. Está bien, techo. Vamos por chocolate covered caramels. Mm, vamos a ver. Name es ese código. Chocolate. Triple C. ¿Qué Cabal significará triple C. covered? Covered. Cubierto. Cubierto. Ah. Ahí viene. Mire, la última es la nougat. La, uni, la última, what happened? The nougat. Eh, tenemos dudas, teacher. No, 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 eh, no, no, no. Primero, no dice código. Segundo. Ah, the code you can invent it. No problem. Ah, no. Sí. Ok. Sí. ¿Y tampoco el peso? Lo inventamos. No. Bueno, el peso... No. Le ponen una rayita porque, ajá, no, no, das en jabo. De código sí, si tú inventas. Ok. Tú puedes crear un código. Ajá, no, it doesn't have that specification. For the product that you're going to invent, yes, you put a weight, you put a code, and you put the size and everything. Ok. Teacher. Yep. En el caso de la primera, no dice eh, cuánto contiene, cuántas bolsitas contiene, cuántas piezas, perdón. No, he doesn't say, and it's 750, right? But in the part it says that every box has six units. No, es uh, six units for seven. Uh -huh. I will assume that, but uh -huh, it doesn't say. The first one and the last one don't say. No, here we do not. ¿Cómo se dice correctamente? PNAU. NA. No, pen, es que aquí en la primera dice spicy peneutoso. Okay. No spicy peanut. Peanut. Peanut toffee. Peanut toffee. Peanut es maní. Peanut toffee. Peanut y, toffee. Spicy peanut toffee. Y pecans. Pecans. Aquí pecans. 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 Fresh roasted pecans. pecans. Son igual, otras semillas secas. No sé qué es. Y la última, no sé qué es no nougat. Almond. Almendras. Almendra. Almendra. Almond. Ay, delicious. Pero la almendra de verdad, India. Because the big one that looks like a brain, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. But the perfect combination is peanut and chocolate. Well, almond and chocolate too. Chicken and chocolate. All chocolate. <laughs> All chocolate. Me gusta el chocolate más amargo. Ah, yes, delicious. Oh, 
En inglés, eh, una puntuación, lo que dice honey, eh, coma, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Honey es miel. No, este, coma. Sí. Es que en español, en español acá ya no lleva coma, solo sería eh, dark chocolate. Ah, no, en case? inglés sí, cuando, ah. cuando se, por ejemplo, si usted dice... Eh, honey and, and dark chocolate no lleva coma, pero si pone varios ingredientes, entonces pone coma antes de ano. Y sí, es verdad, en español no. Ah, pero okay. en inglés sí, sí. Okay. Uy, ya no llegaron a tres. Y es hora, let's go. <risa> let's go. Okay. Dice, pero nos tenemos que inventar una ticha. Sí. Put all the specifications, right? To the one that you will invent. Podría ser, maybe, café de olla. Yes. Yeah. Teacher, ¿cómo se dirían dulces de tamarindo o de Nancy? Tamarindo candy. Ah, no cambia. Tamarindo candy. ¿O oh, mango y miel? ¿Mm? ¿Mango y miel? Se dice lo mismo. Mango y miel. Yo creo que no tiene traducción porque es, es, es como se llama. Típica. La conserva. Ajá. Muy latino, muy... Exacto. Como una conserva sería. Ajá. O un dulce. Dulce de mango. Ok. Teacher, el que vamos a inventar tiene que ser cada uno. No, one, one in total. Ok. Algo fácil, escojamos. Something easy. <laughs> Así como los dice de tamarindo, solo es el tamarindo y el azúcar y agua. <risa> ok, entonces vamos a por acá. Entonces, candy, no, tamarindo candy dijo ahora. Tamarindo candy, yo diría. Hasta un código le puse ya. <risa> El tamarindo candy. ¿Saben qué? Y puse en size for kids. Porque son los cuatro chumbitas que tienen en la bolsa. <risa> el código sería 100. 0.5596. Bueno, si usted quiere ponerle otro, no tengo. O sea, TMC, tamarindo, TMC Candy. ¿Qué número dijo? 0.5596. Do you know how to, how to do it? ¿Mande? Do you know how to do the camarindo candy? Yes. Uh, no sé cómo hacerlo rápido, pero hubo un tiempo en que mi mamá hacía dulces tradicionales para vender. Entonces ahí vi cómo se hacía la mayoría. Uh -huh. 
en los de tamales son los más ricos porque no son ni muy dulces ni muy ácidos. Ajá, exactly. Exactly. Tía. ¿Y los ingredientes cuáles son? Aparte del tamarindo. Eh, aparte del de tamarindo. El azúcar y el tamarindo. Porque eso se. Hi, hi. How are you doing? You finished the chart? Yes, teacher. Vaya, did you did you create the description of your product? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Eh, I just have a question. The code, we have to invent a code? Like a serial yeah, of numbers? Yeah, you can invent a code, yes, of course. Okay. You can use the initials and a couple of numbers. Okay. Okay. Our product is almonds covered by chocolate. Almonds chocolate covered. Mm -hmm. The call is B123, C456. The size is four pieces. The ingredients are almonds, dark or white chocolate. The weight is eight ounces per unit and the price is um, $8. What, ingre what ingredients would you use? Almonds, dark and or chocolate. white chocolate? Mm -hmm. Dark chocolate, better. <laughs> yes, it's better. Yeah, much better. You, you can invent the ways, how big you want to do them, how small. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we can put it the way that we make it. Mm -hmm. The almonds. How do you say like chocolate derretido? Melted chocolate. Melt. Melted. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, are you hosting the products? <laughs> did you did you create your product? Yes. 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 What is it? Luis? Chocolate uh, mint bar. <laughs> Chocolate? Mint bar. Mint bar. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Yes, a delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mint and chocolate, it's a good combination. I remember yeah. I used to bar candy, chocolate mint. Uh. Ooh, like long time ago, I don't know if they still exist or not anymore. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> I remember, but I don't know if they still exist or not anymore. Um, what is well, the, 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 the uh, fabrica? The companies? Yes. Or the factory? What is, uh -huh. what is the factory for the, for this, these candies? Don't what remember. Is, no. I used to buy them in the supermarket. But I don't remember the name. Uh, but they were. I'm going to check <laughs> in the supermarket. Okay. And and if I find them, I tell you. Okay. So you go find. <laughs> you go look for them. And I watch out for them. Because yes. I don't. I don't know. But they were very big. They were candy, but they were like this fat, a little fat, and and big. Uh, uh -huh. I don't remember. 
I used to, <laughs> I used to buy them like some years ago. Uh, now I don't buy much candy, but I used to. I used to, and I used to, I used to look for them. Well, okay. you're ready, right? I'm taking you out, yes. so you have enough time to share. Okay, teacher. Here we go. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> bye. 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 I forget that when I come from the small groups, I come quiet. By uh -huh. we're just yes. giving the seconds for the others to come. A ver, a ver. Ah, todavía nos falta gente que venga. Uh -huh. Group number two, group number three. Ahí, hay varios grupos completos allá. Ahí está, hoy sí. Vaya. Let's begin with group number one. Adriana, David, Kevin, and Luis Edgardo. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Hey, chair. Okay. Vamos a, a compartir primero su producto y después okay. vamos a compartir las respuestas del ejercicio todos juntos. Ok. Lo hicimos junto todo. Ah, perfecto. Okay. Hicimos un, un producto, pero es bien, bien especial, así que okay. por eso mismo lo vamos a presentar. Ahí Adriana se va a dar la oh, presentación. Perfect. Ok. Uh, uh, our, producto, no. Ok. Our star product eh, is called Seabar Chocolate. Eh, the code is SC05. Eh, the size is 30 for 30 for 40. The ingredients are very, very special. Uh, there are chocolate dark, tight candy, uh, dulce de atado, and chaparro. It's a uh, chocolate with liquor, a uh, special liquor. Salvador the weight liquor. is six <laughs> ounces. Yes. Yeah, and the price per unit uh, is the is for a dollar, and that is a, okay. Oh. One dollar per unit. Yes, per unit. Okay, great, great, great. Thank you. So it's kind of <laughs> like this, right? Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Group number two, Diego Batres, Jonathan, Luz Angelica, and Noe Ortiz. Okay, teacher. Um, bueno, y por qué solo a las niñas mandan a presentar estos caballeros? <laughs> no se presentan. No. Desde nos ayer agarran, en eso. Nos agarran como chivos expiatorios. O sea, por decisión exacto. unánime, dice. Ajá. Fue yeah. democrático. Aquí hay una democracia. Ajá, democracia, dice. <risa> que no es Mal democracia, delayed, es democracia. Delayed, 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 And the other oh. Stephanie. Bueno, Stephanie, en su grupo por lo menos son tres niñas. ¿Verdad? Vaya, go ahead. Eh, ¿Quién? Luz. Yes, teacher. Uh, no voy a compartir la pantalla porque como estoy en un celular, no lo pudimos así como escribir, ¿verdad? Entonces lo okay. escribí por aparte. Ok. Uh, our star product is a pie 
uh, apple pie. Ah, qué rico. Okay, <laughs> and the ingredients. Okay, the coat is a uh, pie zero one. Oh. And uh, okay, let me check <laughs> something. Uh, because I lost the page. Okay, um, this is the name and the and the code, right? Mm -hmm. And is the give me one second. Okay, the ingredients. It's about the size. What size? Ah, couple, size. Okay, uh -huh. the size is a. Uh, uh, Four pounds. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. It's kind of big. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, ingredients. That's the weight. The weight oh, four okay. pounds. What about the size? The size. Okay. Let me check. I, I lost the page. I'm sorry. Okay. Que le colabore a luz. What is the size? Uh. 16 inch 16 inch for 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 example uh huh mm -hmm. it's okay it's okay uh -huh. thank you and the ingredients ingredients okay ingredients it's a flour a lot of sugar apple and a oil and milk mm -hmm. Okay, and the price per unit is the one dollar thirty five cents per unit. Per unit. Yes, but the boxes is uh, another price, right? <laughs> and the boxes have a uh, six pieces, and the price is eight dollars ten cents. Ten dollars. A, a ten no eight dollars ten cents eight dollars ten cents okay yes okay delicious part. that it's all right yeah that's it thank you Luz Angelica now let's thank see you. group number three Jose Alfredo Marina and Mario Angel and Jose. Marina presentation <laughs> of course, Marina. Presentation. I know you see. Teacher. Tell me, Marina. Uh, uh, our product is very easy. <laughs> Baca negra. Baca negra, sí. Mm. The ingredient only ice cream and chocolate. Okay. Ah, no, perdón, en Coca-Cola. En Coca-Cola, <laughs> yeah. Vanilla ice cream, right? Yes. yes. Vanilla ice cream and, and Coca-Cola. Uh -huh. And the price, two dollars, probably. Okay. What about the weight and the size? Yeah. I don't know, teacher. The size, In el 16... Oh. 12, a bottle, bottle, eight, 12, 16, 20. Like it's mm -hmm. a big, a small, small, medium, big. It's a uh, you can give me the size, in that medium, way. baby, maybe, medium, medium, maybe. medium, medium size. Okay, yes. medium size, and it is only two dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great, great. Thank you, Va <laughs> Vanessa. Sí, Marina. Ah, oh, Marina Vanessa. Okay, yes. thank you very much. Group number four, Karen, Stephanie, Carla, Lorena, and Rosa Hilda. Aquí no tuvimos oh. opción de un hombre, teacher. Yeah, no way. <laughs> you okay. could have taken revenge, but no way. <laughs> okay. Bay group okay. Our product is <laughs> tamarindo candy mm. uh, called TMC or five or five nine six. 
size for peace and ingredients tamarindo water and sugar sugar weight to ounce ounce price per unit uh 50 cents 50 cents okay great thank you tamarindo candy good 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 thank you rosy Number five, Carolina, Abigail, Claudia, Carolina, Grace, and Joanna. Hello. Our product is almond covered chocolate. The code is BC45X10. Uh, the box size starts with four pieces. Every piece size is four inches. Um, ingredients are roasted almonds, dark or white chocolate. The weight is eight ounces per unit, and the price is eight dollars per every box. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Joanna. And the last one Edwin, Mauricio, Karen, Janet, and Luis Mauricio. Karen, no pasa. Ah, no inventen. <risa> Ustedes son dos. No quiero ver si puedo compartir, pero no se puede, teacher. Ah, no es que la tiene la imagen. Ay, Rosy. Rosy, help me. Ahí está. Oh, no sé si usted la tiene, Luis. Vaya, hoy sí. No, 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 Rebe. No. Vaya, yo lo tomé con el teléfono, pero igual. Okay. <risa> Ay, pero dice que no es compatible. No se puede. No, bueno. no, no me deja. <risa> y don Mauricio, ¿será no que me lo deja? Sí. Eh, lo que pasa es que lo hice a mano, no lo hice. En... Ah, sí. igual. Yo lo hice a mano porque es de celular. Bueno. Ah, vaya, no problem, no problem. Just okay. let us know. No, no puedo compartir. <laughs> ok. Well, I go, no digo así. Go no digo yo. Bueno, <laughs> le dice Mauricio. Ya podía, Karen, creo. <laughs> bueno, ok. Voy a intentar. Yes, yes, ok. Our product is a... Uh, ¿Y hoy? Eh, sí, está cargando según. Ok. Sí, dice que ha empezado. Ajá, ha empezado según. No, ¿verdad? No. Bueno, no, Dela ya va, ya va a cargar. Porque dice que ha empezado la función de carga, de compartir. De cargar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Chocomint part is our product. Uh, the code is a uh, a number five. Uh, presentation is a six. Um, the ingredients are uh, dark chocolate, mint, honey, and chocolate chips. Uh, the weight is uh, 150 and the price is a uh, $6 for box. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Ooh, okay, we finish. <laughs> now, we will share uh, what you have in each of the, the components of the, of the chart, right? A ver, no quería irme al manual. Ajá. Ahí está. A ver, a ver. What, number one, what's the name of the product? Y si no compartamos el de David. Ya. 
David David. Voy a dejar de compartir y comparte David. Ok, teacher. Ready. Ahí está. Ok. Somebody from David's group to share. Name, the name. The name is a spicy pinion trophy, the number one. Yeah. And the code is SPT01. Okay. The size, uh, 30 for, for 30 for 40 centimeters. Centimeters. Mm -hmm. And box with six units. The ingredients are butter toffee, roasted pineapples, of pineapples, and cayenne chili pepper. Okay. Wait. What? Four ounces. Four ounces. Price per unit uh, one point one twenty five. One point twenty five. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. And now we go with Teacher, the. Teacher, what is the meaning and the correct pronunciation of cajun? Cajun. Cajun chili pepper. In what is the meaning? Es el chile, un chile así, seco. El de cayena. El de cayena. El chile de cayena. Es el mismo chile, cayena. Ajá. El chile cayena. Lo, lo que la diferencia es que es más oscuro que el chile Ajá. normal. Como el chile morrón, pero picante. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es un chile rojo así, larguito, como que es pico de gallo. No, ah, okay. Uh -huh. Stop share or continue share? Yeah, continue, David. Eh, me or Adriana or with? Uh, somebody wants to help David? I'm going to help. Uh, the second is turtle candies. The code is TC02. Uh, the size R is. 30 for 30 for 40 centimeters. The ingredients are butter, buttery caramel, fresh rose pecans dark, milk chocolate. The weight is six ounces. Six ounces. On, ounce. And the price for unit is one with five cents. Okay. One dollar, five cents each right one dollar five cents each okay what about the chocolate covered caramels okay uh, the chocolate uh, covered caramel the cottage is cc03 uh, the side is 30 uh, 30 30, 30, 14 centimeters. Uh, centimeter ingredient, uh, chocolate, uh, purple caramel, and chocolate weighing the five ounce. Price for unit one seventeen. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. One seventeen per unit. Mm -hmm, exactly, because it says per unit, not for each check, not for the box, right? But per each unit. Okay, what about the last one? Chocolate dip nougat. Okay, yeah, the chocolate dip nougat is uh, called CDN04. The size is uh, 20, 10, 8 centimeters. The ingredients, all fashioned nuggets, candy receipt, honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. And the weight for ounce, the price per unit, 1.75. Okay. 
per mm -hmm. unit. Mm -hmm. Per unit. Per unit. Excellent. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. <clears throat> okay. Any questions about that chart? Any questions? No? No, no question. No, negative, negative. Negative, perfect. Okay, let's go to the last attendance then. Ah, les quiero enseñar el, el, el chile cachena. I'm going to show you a, a picture. Teacher, aún no ha revisado la plataforma. Sí, 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 sí. Check the chile cayena. Yeah. Es bien bravo. Bien, bien bravo. <laughs> ok, Pacha. Pacha. I'm going to call attendance. Eh, si alguno está pendiente, bueno, hay varios pendientes con ejercicios de la plataforma. Please do them. Adri me debe uno, Alexis me debe varios, Carolina uno, Diego uno, Grace Michelle solo ha hecho uno. Mi teacher. Eh, ¿Quién es mi? Noé. Noé. Ah, vaya, vamos a llegar por allí. Quiero ver. Ah, oh. eh, Joana, Jonathan, ya terminaron. José Alfredo y Karen Janet, les falta el de hoy, ¿verdad? Carla Lorena, me ha hecho solo uno, Carlita, me debe un montón. Ya se lo Kevin, merece. Kevin, Luis Edgardo y Luis Mauricio, estamos cheles. Ah, y lo primero es verdad que este, Carolina, David and Edwin, complete. Eh, very good. Y el mío le aparece, teacher, el de Karen Marriento. Eh, Luz Angélica, María Vanessa, Mario, complete. Noé yes. me debe dos y Rosa Hilda me debe uno. ¿Quién ¿Y el es? mío, teacher? ¿Quién? Karen, Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie. Eh, Karen Stephanie. Karen tiene cien, está completo. Okay. Ya empezó a hacer el otro. Very good. Ok, thank you. Eh, finish, teacher. ¿Quién? Yo, ya terminé. El, el, la Karen tarea 5. Janet. Karen uh -huh. Janet. Vamos a ver, Karencita. Karen Janet. Vamos a darle el refresh. Ajá, hoy sí ya me aparece más actualizada. Así es que hoy aprovechen, ¿verdad? De ponerse allí al día los que les hace falta. Yo en un ratito voy a venir a darle la última revisada de recoger de notas para Gracias. tener mi lista lista. Jeje, lista lista. Ok, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Analicia. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present. Diego Batres. Present teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elmer Alexis. Grace Mitchell. Jonathan. Grace Mitchell. Present. Present teacher. I'm here. Verla como a las nueve y algo. Okay. Es que se me desconectó el teléfono porque se me apagó y después ya no podía ingresar, pero ya ingresé tarde. Sí. Pero estaban en los grupos de trabajo. Sí, sí, ya como las nueve y media, ¿verdad? Logró entrar. Va. Jonathan David. Jonathan. Present teacher. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Eh, Kevin René. Eh, está trabajando todavía, pero. Ah, pero por ahí está todavía. Vaya, Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. 
present teacher is Noé. Present teacher. Hilda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Present teacher. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana. Present. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Vanessa. Presente, teacher. En, eh, Marina. Presente. Soy yo. Sí. <ríe> Soy Marina. <ríe> Ay, David. David Alexander. Presente, teacher. Ok, perfect. Ahí está. Muy bien. Joana. Joana, Joana. Ayer estuvo yes. en clase usted, ¿verdad? Yes. Pero no sé por qué no me dijo present cuando la llamé. Yes. Estuve todo desde las ocho. Ajá. Bien raro. Sí, sí, yo me acuerdo. Maybe you didn't hear me. Yeah. Sí, pero yo me acuerdo si me estuvo participando ayer. Yes. Sí. Ajá, porque el, el otro día, sí, el, el, ¿cómo se llama? El, el miércoles, ¿verdad? Yes, Wednesday, I'm not. Ajá. Ok, bueno, hoy se queda conmigo Diego. Yes. Diego Batres. I'm here. Ok. Good night, happy weekend. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. bye. Good night. Bye. 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 See you. Bye, teacher. See you. Bye. Take care. A descansar el fin de. Have a nice weekend. Nice weekend. Yeah. Okay, uh, tell me, do you have any question? Any question, any comment? Um, yes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the main topic, the this class is in manufacturing, yes or no? Manu, can you repeat that? Uh, the main topic always be manufacturing or process. Ma manufacturing exactly. process, exactly. Mm -hmm. That was about the manufacturing process. Okay. All the, all the course. All the, all the class. No, basically unit number one was about manufacturing process. Okay. But then we go unit two. Uh, we are going to be giving directions, directions and instructions. So the, the, 
the topic goes changing from unit to unit. Every okay. unit we have a different topic. Mm -hmm. For example, yeah, number two is about directions and instructions. Number, let's see, unit three. That's, that's very long. Unit three is travel shooting. Okay. Uh -huh. So yeah, we were changing from, from, from day to day, right? We were changing the the topic. This was manufacturing. Okay. All the units. The, the unit one is in uh, starting one week. Yes. One week, one unit, one week. Okay. As we have four units, four weeks. Okay. okay. Yes. And the same in the okay. platform. Uh, the same in the platform. You have homework assigned for every single day of the week. So for the five days, right? Okay, okay, got it. Uh, bueno, the second question in Spanish. Okay. Cuando yo pues, trabajo en el departamento de contabilidad de un banco, entonces los últimos días, casi de la, ya la otra semana, trabajo esta noche. Cuando dicen de oyentes, dicen, no participan en los grupos, o sí. Eh, hay dos tipos de oyente. Uno, okay. el que en la lista a mí me aparece como oyente, que el, si se fija a la par de su nombre, ellos escriben oyente. Y hay algunos que escriben, por ejemplo, teacher, mire, hoy voy a estar de oyente. No es que ellos sean oyentes como parte del grupo, pero sí que no, eso significa que se van a conectar, pero que no pueden participar porque están todavía trabajando. Ok. ¿Verdad? Ah, okay. No es lo okay. ideal. No es lo ideal, pero se dan algunos casos. Sí, por ejemplo, en mi caso, pues contabilidad se sabe que a fin de mes es tema de cierre y todo. Mm -hmm. Los primeros días sí no tengo problemas. Preguntaba por el tema de la cámara porque en mi máquina del del trabajo no tiene cámara. Sí puedo accesar a Zoom y todo eso, pero no podría estar como. Ajá, no podría encender la, la, la cámara ese día. Ajá, porque no tiene. Ajá. Okay. Okay, pero le tengo que notificar con, con anticipación. ¿verdad? Ajá, ok. Ok, va. Okay. Entonces ahí solamente me escribe, teacher, todavía estoy trabajando, no voy a poder encender cámara. Ok. ¿verdad? Y yo voy a comprender que, que esa es la situación. Okay, only that, only the two questions. Okay, any any other questions? No. No. Okay. Perfect. Bueno, ahí estamos entonces. Cualquier cosa, usted en la plataforma ya, verdad? Ya estuvo trabajando. Sí, lo he ido trabajando. Tema visto. Eh, ah, realizado sí. Así. Ajá. Excelente. Solo el de ahora le falta. Solo el de ahora, sí. Y eh, intenté cambiar el username, pero no me deja. Quizás escribo a, al soporte o algo, me puedan ayudar. Ajá. Sí, porque dice que el, no, el nombre de usuario no permite el cambio. Ah, ok. Ajá, entonces mañana trabajan hasta la 1, ¿entienden? Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces voy a ver si me pueden dar una mano con eso. Ajá, exacto. Sí, porque yo reporté que como si les podían ayudar y me dijeron de que cada uno de ustedes era el Tenía que, que escribir. ¿Verdad? Hacer eso. Ok. Vamos a ver qué tal. Ok. Vaya, pues. Only. Ok, perfect. Have a good weekend then and see you Monday. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. Take care. See you on Monday. See you Monday.